Norm Rosen from RV Lifestyle Magazine with Murray Teed from Outdoor Travel in Hamilton, Ontario. And we're sitting in a beautiful Reflection 150 series by Grand Design. And this is a, a vehicle that is specifically manufactured and designed to be towable by half-ton pickups. And yet this is, it's a beautiful lightweight trailer, but there's nothing shabby about this. It's top of the line from top to bottom uh, the interior is absolutely spectacular and it is just a beautiful fifth wheel uh, Murray could you maybe walk around the vehicle and, and show us a few of the salient points I see you're sitting in the Thomas Paine uh, theater sitting seating yeah this and, has and massage and it has heat in it it has a light in here also for your drink you just push pull the lever and you sit back and watch the TV forward it's just a fantastic feature on this coach and the furniture just top notch quality. If you take a look at the grand design, all their products are the same, yeah. same level and everything they do. Um, we're going to do a walkthrough right now with the whole coach and you can see all the different yeah. features. <coughs> so what, you're, what you see here is a trifold bed. This is one of the nice features of the grand design product. It gives you a nice comfortable bed in the back. Um, I'm just going to put my on my mic for a second and just show you how this bed works. First, you take the cushions off, and your trifold bed comes out as easy as this. It's nice and comfortable all the way through here. And just imagine if you had guests here and you wanted to have another extra place for somebody to sleep, two other people. It's a fantastic bed. You put a nice, you go to IKEA and get a, a, a memory foam on the top of it, give you a nice comfortable bed right here, and hide the memory foam below, and it folds away just as easy. That's pretty impressive. Now that's standard equipment on this Grand standard Design. Standard equipment like Grand Design. Series. You imagine, if you take a look at the salt tube, we have the same same type of coach inside. It's all stitch leather, leather they call it all the way through here. Mm -hmm. you, the nice thing about Grand Design products is all your cabinetry is all solid wood. All the way through, so you have lots of covered space. You just take a look at the space you just have in the back here. And it's all solid wood. There's nothing they skimp out on this particular trailer at all. If you take a look, you have plug-ins. Grand Design is a big thing on plug-ins. You have a plug-in down here. You have a plug-in down here. You have uh, like lighting in the bottom here underneath the chairs. Gives you kind of like a nice ambience. All your ducking is all the way through the cabinets instead of through the floor. At the base of the uh, <laughs> at the kitchen island is where your... Uh, yeah, your base is right there. Is all your ducking right there. That's a really nice feature basically because you're not having any intrusion in the floor. Yeah. So that's where they're going. You've got an R, R40 R in the roof, R30 in the floor, R9 in the walls, which gives you that insulation, gives you that all season capabilities. Yeah. Grand Design is one of the only companies that even in the fine print, and you can live in this coach, and they'll never avoid the warning on this particular coach. Mm -hmm. Now it's uh, well, it's only a few degrees above freezing outside. It's really quite. Cold. It's really quite nice today. It's minus yeah. 15 outside. We're in our shirts in here. We've had the furnace on about for 15, 20 15, minutes. 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. So it's been, it's warming up quite nicely. So you're not even if you're in the heat, it's not going to let the heat in, and it's not going to let the cold in because you've got the proper insulation all the way through. Mm -hmm. Grand Design is about the only one that gives you a cutaway description of the coach. Um, if you take away any manu other manufacturer out there, you look, they don't give you a cutaway at all. You get a fiberglass cap up in here. Your front cap is also insulated. Your roof is insulated all the way through. You have a steel side that goes all the way out. You take just take a look at the structure of the floor. You have a laminated floor that goes all the way through here. You have a structure that all the way through here. Right here you have the two axles, of course, with the tires. You get a five-year warranty on the tires, which is one year, no, no problem with anything Norm, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. It's just really done well. If you take a look at anything they do, we'll just take this away from here. You got a uh, 5,000 5, BTU uh, fireplace. So the fireplace, let's say you get up in the morning and it's, and it's cold and chilly, you can set this at a certain temperature, so you get up in the morning, it's all nice and warm for you, come out here and have a cup of coffee in the morning. Yeah, now that's electric heat. That's electric heat. But the nice thing is you're not using your own propane in this. Mm -hmm. And we have the furnace on right now, it's a 40,000 BTU furnace in this, mm -hmm. and it's very quiet. Most furnaces will rattle your ears all, all together. Oh yes. Okay. How do they make it look like the flames are actually leaping and dancing? It's just all electrical. I don't know for that for a fact well, how they do that. 
It's quite unique. It's cool. It's really nice. See, and the nicest thing about that is in chubby mornings, you've got something to warm up. And you have cabinetry on either side here, which is really nice. You have another spot to put all your knickknacks and everything else on top. Oh, you could put DVDs in DVDs. The, yeah. Your DVD goes through your TV. Yeah, uh, your entertainment here. system up your on entertainment top. system. You have Bluetooth in this coach also. Mm -hmm. So you have Bluetooth in here so you can answer your phone right here. More coverage space all the way through. If you take a look at all your face shifts, all solid wood all the way through. My slides, again, are steel slides that go all the way through. If you take a look at the door, it's a real door. And a motion light comes on as soon as you turn that, open that door. door. And that's really your pantry. That's your pantry right there. But it's a solid door, which mm -hmm. is quite nice. Nice, nice segregation all the way through. Yeah. You take a look at your stove. You got a three, you've got a three burner stove here with a plastic top that just folds right up. Is that a Furion? Yeah, it's a Furon, Furon thing, Furon stove, and then you also have, you can turn this lights on or off. You've got a fairly nice oven in there, you can put a small turkey in there. You've got pots and pan drawers down below. Take a look at the drawers, it's all nice peach wood. Yeah. It's really nice, huh? Mm -hmm. You take a look, you have drawers here, another drawer here, and another drawer here, which is unbelievable storage. But the biggest thing the Grand Design norm is that what they're looking for is they're looking for plug-ins. So you have a plug in here. You have a plug in here. Mm -hmm. You have a plug in here, which is fantastic. And then you have a, the farmer sink right here, which is quite nice. Now that's a, a farmer sink. We don't normally hear that term. Uh, that is a large rectangular stainless sink with no sink. divide. It's about uh, six or seven inches deep. Yes. So you no can divide. buy a little piece that you can divide it that, that in if you want to. I like the big sink because you can just put everything all in one. You can wash pots and pans. You've got the upgraded uh, residential faucets here. Nice thing is here you got a nice, also you have the eight cubic foot fridge, which is quite nice. Gas and electric fridge, that's a big feature right now. You don't want a residential fridge really in, the, in this market at all. You want to be able to just have gas all the time. Then you also have a nice place to put your coffee maker, your whatever you want, your toaster in the morning. You've got mm -hmm. some spots to put everything else. As you see, you've got put your camera stuff right there. So you have yep. more storage all the way through here. And it just goes on and on and on. And this is what you're looking for, for a coach. Now, isn't this ideal? They put their electrical panel, most people are putting electrical panels out in the open where you see them all the time. Ours is hidden away. So in here you have your 12 volt and 110. So your 110 outlets here, your 12 volts all right here. But it's hidden away in the cupboard. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. Kids can't play with it. Grandkids can't come play with it. And also what Grand Design has done here is they've given you two fold away chairs. So it's just the two of you. You fold up your chairs, put them in the front, and they're gone. So you don't have four chairs sitting here all the time. You can have two chairs sitting here all the time. It's all nice solid wood. You've got big windows. Grand Design's biggest feature in this is it's a half ton total and you have all the windows all the way around. So they give you windows on this side of the campsite so you're not looking at your, your other camper on the other side. You have whisper cool air conditioner in this, which is fantastic. You have a you have a aluminum structure going all the way through and you have wood trusses going all the way through the top of it. The ducking in this system is just amazing. If you take a look at the ducking system in this, the ducking system goes all the way through and they put metal in between all their ducts with a manifold that pushes the air down. So that gives you the, you don't ever have a cold room in this coach. That's why we can get this coach so warm all the time. Yeah, it came out really warm really, really fast. So you got a 30 inch door when you walk in the door. All the furniture in Grand Design goes in after it's built, not before. So if you ever have a problem with this particular coach, taking a piece of furniture out, you can take the furniture right out of the coach. Which is fantastic. Well, this is all the uh, Thomas Paine collection furniture, so it's all modular. It's beautiful. It comes apart, so it can go in and out of the door. It can go in and out of the doors quite nicely, but most of them are putting the, putting all their furniture in first, and then you never get it out, which That's is right. which is unbelievable. Now, if you go over here, Norm, you have your your elect, your panel. This is your slide outs. It gives you your ceiling lights. It gives you your step light, your water pump, your gas, gas, your gas, get your. Hot water tank is gas or electric, so you have the both options of either one. Your your fan switches are right here for your fan over here, your max max air fan. This is your thermostat thermostat right here, mm -hmm. and then we've gone through that already. Now take a look at the steps. It's a wood step that goes all the way through here, so you're you're coming up through here. You got a grab handle right here, which is quite nice. And if you look at just the bathroom in here, it's it's unbelievable. You have a 
sliding door. A pocket door. A pocket door. Instead of the door intruding inside here, Norm, which is, you don't have to bump into it all the time. Oh, somebody not else... only that, there's a risk that you could fall down the stairs. That's right. Just maneuvering around one of your conventional swing out doors. That's for sure. pocket door eliminates that risk. That's for sure. And this door is, inside is aluminum, not wood. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you realize that, Norm, but they put all aluminum in these doors so they don't swell. So you're always going to have a door that functions properly. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go into the bedroom. We'll do the bathroom last. So now you have another pocket door up here. So your pocket door will shut. It never intrudes into the hallway at all. So you can just lock it up in here. Mm -hmm. Now if you come into the bedroom you have... Come up here you have a full full queen size bed. Not an RV queen. So it's not shorter. It's the same queen you'd have in your house. Which is quite nice. So up and, it lifts. and it lifts and you have storage underneath and they're using a real plywood underneath, not a chip rock or anything like that. So they're putting the extra oomph into the into the trailer. It's just they, they care about their customers. That's one thing about Grand Design when you go there. They're blessed to have this unit to make. Mm -hmm. And this is Grand, Grand Design's policy is that they are blessed to have this type of unit. So if you take a look at this, you have a... Your USB ports are right right there. You have a plug-in on this side, you have a plug-in on this side, which is fantastic. Then up in here you have your wardrobe, which has a motion light on as soon as you come up through here. So it lights up. That's unbelievable. Like, why, why would you even think of that? So when you come in here, you can grab your coach, you can grab anything you want, you can see what you're getting. And that's deep enough. That's deep enough. For a full width hanger, so you can hang your suits, your dresses, so, your Anything shirts, you'd like. And not have to worry about the... the Great uh, golden or anything else. Being too narrow. And there's your other ducting for your heating right there into this room here. So you don't end up with a cold room at all. And all your air conditioning is ducted all the way through. Mm -hmm. All LD lights all the way through it. You have a COD, CO2 detector in here, smoke detector. Then you have more drawers that are nice and deep all the way through here. And, and there's a spot on the wall right behind you uh, where you can attach a second television. Yes, you can put a TV right here if you like. Um, and then you have a nice window here that opens up, emergency latch right there, which is quite nice. It's one lever. Nicely finished all the way around. Mm -hmm. Nice and tall inside. Okay, Norm, we're into the bathroom, so you have a nice medicine cabinet in here. Take a look at that. That's nicely finished all the way through. Screwed in, not stapled in, which is quite nice. you got a max air fan here. Then you've got a sink here, a sink here with another medicine cabinet off to the side. They give you the towel racks and everything else, or the toilet toilet facilities where you can put it wherever you particularly like in the coach. Then you have storage underneath here. And you can feel the heat coming right out of this one right here. Your, your duct right there. Nice drawers all the way through here. Toilet. You got a nice stand up shower inside. Now how tall are you, Murray? I'm six feet tall. Six feet tall, and you're not, you've got at least uh, five, six inches to go. between you and the ceiling, and even more, you could be seven feet tall and standing up. You could be seven feet tall, but you're still going to be bumping up here. My son's yeah. six, seven, so he'll, he'll go right to about here, and then it's okay. Now, uh, the actual tub surround is, is quite decorative. That's a beautiful tub. It's all in one piece, too, so there's not a two-piece. So a lot of them, what they're doing nowadays is they put one piece down to here and then another piece down to here. So this is all one piece all the way around, so you're not going to get leakage in the walls. That's right. Rotten walls all the way through. Mm -hmm. And then there's another heating duct right in the bathroom right here. Yeah. So you always have your heat properly. And that's a uh, porcelain foot flush. Yes, that's a porcelain uh, toilet. toilet. Yes, it is. Excellent. So you have a nice toilet here, which is porcelain, and the door is unbelievable. It's a, it's a, it's a quite a unique door. So they try to keep the weight down. So there you go. So it's an actual door that slides away. Yes. Uh, so you don't get that feeling of being shrink wrapped by a shower curtain. That's right, and and it just folds out of the way. And there you go. Isn't that interesting? What does that do? That kind of flexes back into itself. It goes like it's just like if you ever seen those uh, you ever seen those doors where you, the screenless doors at, yes. at home they have, they're going on the same principle as that. So you're not always having a, a screen up or a door up and everything yeah. else. So it just folds out of the way. It's so easy to clean. All you do is you spray it, clip, wipe it down, uh -huh. push it back in, and then you have the mildew and everything else inside the coach. Excellent, excellent. So. <laughs> Murray, yeah. this is the uh, the Grand Design Reflection 150 series 
295RL, and the RL designates rear, rear living room. Yes. Rear living room. And you get this in a bunkhouse if you wanted to, too. You could it with a bunkhouse. Yes. Now, what kind of dollars, more or less, are we looking at entry level to get into one of these babies? The list price on this is around 50, 56. 56.9 around there. And that is Canadian FOB Hamilton, Ontario, which That's is right. the location for outdoor travel. Mm -hmm. Now, as I understand it, outdoor travel, which is one of our favorite local dealers, outdoor travel, you're planning on doing a move sometime soon. Yeah, we're going down to Beamsville, Ontario Street, just yeah, near Ontario the, Street, uh, Street, yeah, Ontario Beamsville. Street, right uh, near the Tim Hortons there. We so bought 13 acres of property there. Oh, excellent. So that's not far from Niagara Falls or no. St. Catharines. And when do you plan to be moving? We should be there by Christmas time this year. By Christmas 2018. That's what we've been told. Excellent. Yes. So uh, the trick is, for people who are interested in this particular uh, grand design vehicle, uh, they should be looking online, and your website is is uh, rvvacations.com. Triple W dot rvvacations dot com, and we'll put a link in the uh, information down below. And uh, for anybody who uh, wants information, if they're brand new to fifth wheels, you've got people who can show them how to tow a fifth wheel, how to hitch a fifth wheel. We can tell, teach them everything they need to do. We can do the hitching for them. We can explain them what their, what their weight ratios are, if they're safe to tow it. We recommend that you always go to your own dealer for your, your half-ton truck to find out exactly what your vehicle can tow. This is a half-ton towable, so you're only 8,500 pounds dry on this particular coach. Yes, now you're we towed this this morning with a 2012 uh, Ram 1500 series, which is, which perfect. is a half ton towable truck, and uh, no problem whatsoever. And there's a very, very special uh, Lippert components uh, uh, pin box That's correct. on this. Uh, this pin box is called the Turning Point Swivel Pin Box. And the theory behind this is that you have the hitch pin, of course, at the front of the pin box. That normally goes into the saddle on your fifth wheel hitch in the truck. But this pin box, special pin box, has a separate secondary pivot point 22 inches farther back. So you would lock the original pin box uh, pin at the front so that does not swivel and then you would unlock the, the pivot point 22 inches farther back. That's right. And that lets the trailer swivel around uh, on some trucks as much as 90 degrees, like a perpendicular 90 degrees. It lets you swivel around uh, without any danger of the front cap of the trailer bumping into the back of the cab. That's for sure. The truck. So normally, when you're driving down the road, I would imagine you would lock that secondary switch. Well, I would lock the secondary switch. It's only when you start getting into a tight position where you need to un unlock, and then you can go. Well, you need to unlock it. Yeah. Now, also, when we were hitching up and unhitching, of course, the uh, the leveling jacks at the front uh, of this trailer are electric. Yes. Uh, and they automatically level. You can set them to automatically level. Uh, it, it's literally as easy as just touching a button. You're hitched, you're unhitched, you're leveled, you're ready to go. Well, the back, basically, to correct you on that, is, is on the back you've got manual hitches on here. Oh, so, manuals, they okay, so then yeah. you got the, the you have the electric hitches on the front of this, just yeah. just so you know that. What we're the trying to do is jacks. keep, we're trying to keep the uh, weight down, so you've got manual jacks on the back, so you don't have that, that problem. And that, also the weight consideration, that's one of the reasons why the closet is on the bulkhead between the bedroom and the bathroom, rather than having a front closet across the entire front of the trailer, as you often see uh, in the fifth wheel designs. But when you do that, you can literally put hundreds of pounds of clothing and your, your gear and, and whatever right above the pin, which makes it more difficult for you to tow That's the trailer. Correct. So it throws the balance of the trailer off. It also it also uh, skews the amount of weight. Uh, so when you're towing with a half ton uh, 1500 series or an F-150 truck, when you're towing with one of those trucks, you want to keep the weight distributed perfectly from front to back and not overweight the amount of down pressure on the actual pin 
uh, in the pin box. That's correct. So uh, that makes a very big difference in the handling on this vehicle and also of course as you can see from the exterior photos uh, the, the front cap is beautifully aerodynamic uh, I guess somewhere along the line they must wind test tunnel test. They do. They do all the wind tests. What they've done, they've done a really. If you want to really get a good grasp of this, go online and, and take a look at the video that's online. It's made by Grand Design. They did a really extensive research on the on the 150 series. That's why they call it the 150 series because it is half ton towable. You can get a, You can go out there. You can enjoy yourselves. If you take a look at any transport in the market right now, oh, yes. where, where's where's the where's the hitch up? It's always on the on the on the axle. On you the go axle. through snow. You can go through anything in this particular coach. You can live in this coach all year round and you're not going to worry about freeze-ups or anything else because no. it's built for all season in this coach. Absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. just a really well designed. <coughs> I've been in this business since I was 15 and yeah. this is by far one of the best fifth wheels I've ever seen on the but market. But not only that, I mean we started looking at these grand designs when they came in with the Solitude and, and uh, uh, the other uh, models and you were looking seventy five, eighty, eighty five thousand dollars Canadian. Here is a vehicle, it's not all that much shorter no. than those longer, more deluxe vehicles. It's lighter, but it certainly doesn't skimp on anything. It's absolutely gorgeous inside. And and you're looking at fifty, fifty five thousand dollars. And you're out the door and you're having MS a great time. MSRP. Uh, and, and a better price from time to time when the units go on sale. So this is a tremendous value. It's ideal. Uh, would sleep up to six people? No, this would actually, this one here will sleep four. Okay. So, so you, can, you can get four. this with a booth dinette if you wanted to, and then you can sleep another two here. Yeah. Right now we've gone with yeah. a freestanding dinette because most of the people that are buying this particular coach are yeah. couples, and they're going to have another, they're going to have their two adult kids that come up, and then you have the bed in the yeah. bed in now, the back. Yeah, now, of course, we're in the freestanding dinette right now, and, and if we were really good with our housekeeping, we would have rolled up the... Uh, the webbing straps that are here to to make sure that your chairs don't flop around That's right. when you're when you're moving. Well, we just moved this into position so we can show it today. We just so. did it for the sake of the video. Yeah. Now, uh, we also have to mention there are two slides in this unit. Uh, opposing uh, slides. Opposing slides in the the living section of the unit. One has the galley, the entertainment system, the refrigerator. That is on the driver's side of the vehicle, and we are sitting in the dinette and lounge slide and this is this is absolutely beautiful oh it's gorgeous these, these are also lippered slides Lipper and slides. these come in and out at the touch of a button it must have taken not even 30 seconds to no, set you just up. push one button and, and you just push two buttons actually yeah and one slide button one. per slide out and they go one button per slide in they come yeah easy as pie it's just anybody could actually do this. The nicest thing about this is, if you let's say let's say you're traveling and your husband gets hurt, he hurts his arm or he hurts yeah. this, your wife can come back up and back this sucker, back this up, right up to the back of the truck, hook it up within 30 minutes, away you go and you're done. Oh yeah. And it's so it's so so much easier. Oh absolutely, absolutely outstanding. And there are so many areas on this particular vehicle that it, it's so obvious that the engineers and the designers are experienced cappers. Like this morning, to be quite honest, way too cold to be fooling around with the the water hookups and the sewer hookups and everything else. But there is a compartment just on the driver's side of the vehicle. You open up the compartment, and all of your water hookups, all right, your, one your uh, electrical hookup, your cable TV hookup, everything that you could possibly need to hook up in one enclosed, insulated compartment. It has a motion-activated switch for a light that comes on if you're hooking up or unhooking in the dark. We always land up arriving in the dark. No, always. And it's always. You, you, at the, the dark. And the nicest thing about this thing, if you're talking about that that particular door, everything is in one spot. And I have bath, bad arthritis in my knees and whatnot. And all my poles are right there. All I got to do is put my hose on and down into the tank, and I'm done. But also, a nice thing feature about this is the gray gray capacity on this thing. It's 79 gallons. 79 gallons. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Like that's not heard of in the industry. It's just 79 gallons of gray water. So you can go boondock in this. It's got solar power. It's it's all ready to go. So you're not going to have the problem with, with not having electricity. You're just you're, you're good uh, two people boondocking average use pretty much a week. A week and you're, you're pretty totally Pretty much relaxed. a week with the capacities of this particular vehicle. Uh, and Grand Design has literally thought of everything. Now this has an exceptional warranty. 
So it's a three-year structure warranty. So that's three-year structure three warranty. Three-year structure warranty. That's against any delamination. That's that, what you're looking at. A lot of the trailers is water is their biggest problem. Yeah. So water is is going to deteriorate the coaches. It's going to ruin the walls. It's going to do everything else. That's why we've gone to a steel slide on either side. We've gone to a TPO roof on top. We don't have a rubber roof anymore. Uh, so you, when you grab that branch, it's not. It's going to flick off the top of it. It's a. It's, it's a, not going to tear the. Roof. It's not going to tear the roof. And this is why they've gone. That's why they can offer this three-year structure roof. Warranty. If you take a look at their tear test in their walls, they cut a section out of these walls, Norm, and they and they do a tear test. So they peel back a little bit. If it's more than a more than a quarter inch, they scrap the whole wall. Most of them in the industry is an inch and a half tear test. Yeah, it's just unbelievable. Their de- their lamination shop. We've got one of the best guys in the industry that's doing it for us, and he doesn't fool around. If if something's wrong with it, he just scraps the wall, and we we go from yeah. And you you've got an aluminum cage uh, structure. Yeah. Beautifully insulated, beautifully constructed. The welds. I stuck my head underneath where you're not supposed to look, of course, because that's what. That's I what do. you got to do. That's what yeah. I do. The welds, the aluminum welds, are absolutely beautiful. They're textbook perfect. Every single one, even in an area where you would never expect the consumer to check out that particular area. The fit and finish, the attention to detail, the quality of construction in this vehicle, and essentially all of the grand design vehicles that I've ever seen, absolutely Did you know, Norm, that they, they stuff all their, like anywhere there's going to be a wall connected to any place else, they stuff it all with wood. They have have a certain place where they just stuff it all with two by two by twos all the way into the tubing. So when you screw into the one wall, yeah into the next wall, you're screwing right into a wood piece, you're not screwing into... Yeah, so you screw through the, uh, metal, the wall surface, and then right into through the aluminum, constri- the aluminum uh, structure, structure, and right and into, into wood. a backing block, a wooden backing block, so nothing is going to loosen up, That's right. nothing is going to rattle, it's, it's not going to deteriorate. Beautiful unit. That's why they can offer a three-year structure warranty. They also offer a five-year warranty on their tires. Yeah. So one year warranty doesn't matter if you put a nail in it, you drive over something, you pop it out. They'll yeah. replace those tires all together, and then you got a five-year prorated warranty. Uh, four years after that, four-year prorated warranty on yeah. the tires. Yeah. So they built the trailer not only to be lived in, but also to be towed. Yes. And they build this for for people who are serious about their RV touring, and people who want to RV tour with absolutely no trouble in the world. You can hitch up to a five thousand pound trailer behind, so that could be. A boat trailer, an ATV trailer, a snowmobile trailer, a utility trailer, if you like. Yeah. And the thing is, you have to be cognizant within the states and provinces that you travel through. You have to take a look at their uh, total combined length. That's right. Of the tow vehicle, the trailer, and the trailer being towed behind. Because that is what's going to determine what you can tow more so than the weight. It's not likely that you would be towing 5,000 pounds. It's basically, it's basically a, a, small like boat, a small boat or something like small that, boat. or an ATV. You're not going to be loading it down with a race car or, no. or something like that in the back. No, there's, no. there's no sense of that. Because if you take a look at the, the rating on the back, it's a 500-pound tongue weight. Or, yes. And that's, that's, that's feasible. Most people are putting bike racks in the back. They, in, out west, they're doing a lot of towing with a the, with the, with the tag behind. Some people in Canada are doing it. I've seen it done before. So Now, that's easy enough if you're going in a straight line. <coughs> yes. You, know, you just don't want to back it up. You wouldn't want... You well, but it's, all pre- it's, it's also pre-wired for a backup camera, too. Yes. So if you wanted to put a camera in the back, you can you can have, always see what's going on in the back of you all the time. It's all pre-wired. Oh, put yeah. it right into your box of your truck and, and you away see, you go. Realistically, over all the decades that we've been doing the road tests, the backup camera uh, on the back... We like to hook that up so we can see what the traffic is doing behind us. That's right. Because other than that, you, you are uh, essentially limited to your wing mirrors, mm-hmm. and uh, that's okay for what's beside you, but you can't see what's immediately behind you. And immediately behind you is where the Yahoo is going to be, who's going to be racing around and make it difficult for you to... you got to watch out for those small cars. That's the you biggest watch part. out for everything. So uh, the idea of putting the uh, the optional rear vision monitor... Is really is, nice. It, it's probably the best... Uh, option that you can put onto this. Now, the standard equipment on this vehicle, I mean the list of standard equipment is, is the only thing. The only thing you have to add to Not this thing is your, is your sewer hose, batteries, and everything else, and that's it. And you're done. It's another 300 bucks, and you're on the road. See you later. And the hitch, Absolutely. Because, because you don't need a slider hitch, you don't have to spend the enormous amount of money that's on a slider right. hitch on the front, because it has that radius turn on the front. And it's good for a short box. Yeah. This is Perfect. the biggest feature of this whole whole unit is the weight, and it can be towed by a half ton short box. Yeah, and that's and this is a vehicle. I mean, you, you take a look inside. 
This is not your grandfather's fifth wheel. No. This is this is modern. It's bright. Uh, it's clean. They've gone away from the the carpeting throughout the unit because, quite frankly, the carpeting throughout the unit makes the unit harder to, to clean. Maintain. It's harder. Smells, to clean. et cetera. And uh, else. They've also gone away from the carpeting on the steps from the main level up to the bedroom level. That's right. Uh, and that is because uh, people were tending to trip on the carpeting. That's so it, true. it's it's very much a safety aspect, uh, as well as the the pocket door going into the bathroom is a safety consideration, uh, especially when the the bathroom is located near the top of the stairs. So if you take a look at the housing building codes, uh, there's a limit to where you can put a door opening up onto a staircase. True. And yet in the RV industry, there are a lot of units that have a swinging door that opens right onto the step. Uh, three or that's four steps. That's why we have the pocket doors. You know, so that's why uh, Grand Design has gone away from that because that is, that's a risk. Uh, I've tripped on those before. Murray, thank you so much. Oh, anytime. Anytime uh, you like it to has been, It's been a pleasure touring this particular fifth wheel. Uh, we'll also do a link to uh, Bill Martin from Grand Design. Did He's done a great video. video yeah. uh, showing a lot of the exterior details that we did not bother to show today. Because quite frankly, it's winter outside. It's cold outside. It's cold. It's minus 15 today. So we just let Bill, at, uh, we let Bill Martin at Grand Design do that. Uh, part of the uh, the walkthrough because realistically you can't do it any better than Bill, uh, who is the number one expert on these vehicles oh. in the whole company. If you ever want to get a hold of Bill Martin, you can always go on the Facebook page. Um, we have an owner site uh, yeah. that just has Grand Design owners, and these are Grand Design owners talking about the Grand Design product. It has nothing to do with with uh, any of us as as, as dealers or etc. These are honest. These are customers that are just telling you the honest truth about Grand Design, oh, yeah. and it's unbelievable what they're saying. Well, this is the third of the Grand Design units that we've had the pleasure of doing major road test feature on, and uh, this is going back about six, eight years, uh, and they are absolutely beautiful, uh, exceptional value for the dollar. It's not an entry-level vehicle. Uh, this is a mid to upper range uh, vehicle within the category, but everything is absolutely beautiful. When your friends and family come in to see your trailer, they're going to have one word reaction, and it's going to be, wow, That's is amazing. this ever a nice fifth wheel trailer? So go down. There are uh, Grand Design dealers all across Canada. Uh, come visit Murray here at uh, Outdoor Travel in the Hamilton area. Uh, or go to see one of the other Canadian dealers for Grand Design, and the dealers will be uh, absolutely delighted to take you on a personal tour through the vehicle. They may even hitch one up and let you see how beautifully it tows. And uh, I think that, you know, within budget... Uh, oh, it's it's, it's well to beat anybody's if budget. You can, if you can swing it, uh, you would be very hard-pressed to find a more spectacular unit for the dollar, feature for feature on the market today, and that's why we have uh, uh, selected by invitation uh, Grand Design to help us uh, show this particular unit to the readers of RV Lifestyle magazine. Uh, this is essentially the benchmark by which fifth wheel trailers will be measured in 2018. So take a look at the Grand Design website, visit the Outdoor Travel website. Come on website. in, we'll take good care of you. Uh, if you have any questions for us at the magazine, touch base editor at rvlifemag.com, call Murray or Murray's uh, associates at Outdoor Travel, call uh, Bill Martin and his crew at Grand Design. Very, very nice people all the way around. They would be delighted to answer any questions you might have. And have a wonderful day on the RV Roads to Adventure. Thank you, Norm, for all your help. Thank you, Murray. Thank you.